Welcome back to round two of The Masked Singer. Last week, we saw Mona Lisa Cage and Gingerbread Person get unmasked. Two more will be unmasked as we move into our final four. I'm your host, Sam Oliva, and welcome to The Masked Singer. We have two special guests from last week on our panel. Let's see who we have. Hello, it is the gingerbread person and Shooby Doo. Um, and we are back after somebody as you should voted us off. But we should start with the unveiling of who it just exactly is, our friend Shooby Doo. Who are we? Be careful, don't mess up your hair. Hey, it's Mike. Mike. <laughs> yes, it is Mike Chuck, right? Mike Cole Meadows. And Mr. Chuck Chuck. Chuck and Mike Chuck. I imagine at this point you guys can do like a Mike emoji and a Chuck emoji and then like smash them together. Mike Chuck. Right. I do have a bone to pick with Sam and Edward for voting us off, being former students or former volleyball players. I was a little bit disappointed in that, but I'm okay with it. And let's not forget that Ms. Beck also voted us off. I'm just after all of the heart uh, that we put into this, um, the the months of singing lessons that we took to prepare for this moment. <laughs> I don't know who you got singing lessons from. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Singing lessons was one thing. What about the dancing lessons? Yeah, the, dan right? the dancing was really the, the key. You went to a marching class? That's fun. Yes. Yeah, let's say we did. It was great. It was great. <laughs> well, then the energy and the performance was great. Yeah, uh-huh, says the person who voted us out. Anyway, we're excited to be here. So we can bring the heat. <laughs> Are you guys up for the challenge of deciding who gets unmasked? I think we're I think we're ready to do what you guys did to us. <laughs> okay. We felt back. the pain that we now get to inflict upon others. All right. Let's get into tonight's performances. We are having two of our performers go head to head. One will stay and one will get unmasked on the show. First up, we have our friend who does whatever a spider can. Let's check out Spidey Friend's three clues. All right, everyone, singing You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift, it's Spidey Friend. You're on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset. She's going off about something that you said. Cause she doesn't get your humor like I do. I'm in my room, it's a typical Tuesday night I'm listening to the kind of music she doesn't like She'll never know your story like I do But she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time if you could see that I'm the one who understands you Been here all along So why can't you see You belong with me You belong with me 
walk in the streets with you and your worn out jeans i can't help but thinking this is how it ought to be laughing on a park bench thinking to myself hey isn't this easy and you've got a smile that could light up this whole town haven't seen it in a while since she brought you down you say you're fine i know you better than that hey what you doing with a girl like that she wears high heels i wear sneakers she's cheer captain and i'm on the bleachers dreaming about the day when you wake up and find out what you're looking for has been here the whole time if you could see that I'm the one who understands you been here all along so why can't you see you belong with me standing by and waiting at your back door all this time how could you not know baby you belong with me belong with me Oh, I remember you driving to my house in the middle of the night I'm the one who makes you laugh when you know you're about to cry I know your favorite songs and you tell me about your dreams thinking I know where you belong think I know it's with me can't you see that I'm the one who understands you been here all along so why can't you see you belong with me standing by and waiting at your back door all the time how could you not know baby you belong with me you belong with me you belong with me have you ever just thought maybe you belong with me along with me that was a very enthusiastic performance by the, by the friend do you guys agree or disagree <laughs> i'm going to start off with our special guests what did mr meadows and Ms. Sefcheck think about that performance yeah, it's, it's always smart to start with the, the true experts among the group. Um, <laughs> that was a wonderful performance. Good song choice. Big Taylor Swift fans, both of us. And two, two Swizzles, my girl. So that was great song choice. And I thought uh, I thought Spidey Friend really did it justice. Um, dance moves were, were top notch. Um, I mean, they were a little bit below what we did, but I mean, I think overall it was good dance moves. It was a very good performance, kept me entertained. Um, I could listen to that song on repeat. So, yeah, all around, solid performance. Yeah. Let's start. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Edward, what did you think about that performance? Well, um, that performance was pretty good. I liked the energy that came with it. I liked, I liked all of it. It was, it was pretty decent. It was pretty nice. Dejanae, how did you feel? Um, I like the performance. Um, I think Spidey Friend voice has some potential. Like I, I don't think they're a singer, but I think they have like potential. If they like worked on it, but I like it. it was entertaining. They were definitely an entertainer. I can agree with that. Do you guys think we can come up with a guess on who this may be based off the clues in the performance? Performance, not performance. I just got with mic check. Um, so my first guess was going to be uh, Mr. Klumsky just because I used to uh, teach a class with him and they would call him Spidey. So I thought he was going off of that. But after I heard the clues being uh, that this teacher has been here for three years, I think he settled on somebody else. Yeah, except I thought it was maybe Miss Lucchese after the first round. Um, but after the clues and watching again, I think, I think. This might be Miss Ahmed. That's gonna be that's gonna be my guess. Our guess. Mike checks. 
Sorry, we're, we're one. We are one. <laughs> Mic check. <laughs> it's together. Edward, who do you think this could be? Yeah, they're on to something when they uh, said Miss Ahmed because I had her class um, I either sophomore or most likely sophomore year. Um, and I, yeah, it was sophomore year. Yeah, and it was her, and I remember she said it was her first time, first time, first year teaching at Sen. So I can, you know, after that, that those clues came pretty, um, pretty similar to Miss Ahmed. Okay, Dejanay, who do you think this could possibly be? Um, I don't know, but I do think it is somebody that I, I don't know. So. Let's go to our next performer, the strange and mysterious one we call Baby. Here are its three clues, or whatever it is. I was born in San, and I'm 14 years old. I'm a big fan of the boss, baby. Sorry, I was born. So I'm one of these things. Performing Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis, let's give it up for the baby. This is for Manchester. Slip inside the eye of your mind. Don't you know you might find a better place to play? fade away So I start a revolution from my bed Cause you said the brains I had went to my head Step outside the summer times in blue Stand up beside the fireplace Take that look from off your face You ain't never gonna burn my
was a very passionate performance. Okay, I'm going to start off with Dejanay this time. How did you feel about that performance? Um, I really liked it. I love his voice. I don't know that song, but like, I would like definitely listen to it. If you let's move on to our next head to head. His voice has a little changes of the scenery. I agree. Very creative. I liked it. Mic check. What did you guys think? Uh, you know, first, I don't know how there are so many babies that you can have a whole band made out of babies. Um, do you know how he did that? Uh, I don't know, but I, I just think it was quite a real good performance. I was surprised by the the singing. I thought it was really good. And, um, yeah, that was... And it got us to jam together. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough uh, thinking back on our own singing, but like that, that was a really, really, really solid singing performance. And great song choice. I don't know how many other Oasis fans are out there, but solid song choice. Uh, kept me entertained. Maybe a little long. Yeah. I mean, but if we were to do it, we would probably cut a little bit off of it. But we'd also be more on your face um, and in public. But otherwise, yeah, great performance. Really, really solid. Okay. Edward, how did you feel about that performance? Well, I like the, uh, the choreography or, you know, the whole video itself, I, I liked. I liked the performance. I liked how much energy was put into it. And what surprised me the most was, you know, the singing. Because they have a really good singing voice. So it's, you know, it, it, it's, shock, it's shocking to hear something like that. And, you know, picture that face, you know, and that voice. You know, it's really shocking. It is very... Like what, I don't even have a word for it. Seeing the baby's mask definitely throws me off, but his singing voice was definitely something, to, like, that's a challenge right there. Like, it's very, very uneven. Mike, check. I already know you guys have something to say, so <laughs> who do you think this could be? Well, we always have something to say. Uh, well, we couldn't come up. Miss, um, Miss Meadows and I had a uh, tough time here, so I'm going to throw out some ideas. I thought it could be maybe Mr. Brewer. Uh, maybe Mr. Barras, but Mr. Barras disagreed with me. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I I kept thinking may, maybe like Mr. Pullman, and then I thought Mr. Lev. After seeing the clue of being here for a while, like, I think Mr. Lev would be a really good guess on this one. Um, I just I've not heard him sing, but who knows? Sadly, somebody does have to be unmasked, and it's up to our panel to decide who that shall be. Dejanay, who do you think should be unmasked? Um, they both were entertaining, but um, I enjoy the baby's voice more. So is your voice, your vote? Um, um, yeah, I'll vote for uh, the baby to continue to be. Okay. Edward, who do you think should be unmasked? Well, Dejane can say, say any better than I can. So my vote is, vote is already casted uh, for Spidey Friend to be unmasked. All right. Last but not least, Mike Check. Who do you think should be unmasked? Uh, you know, Mike Check, the sentient being, agrees overall that, um, you know, Spidey Friend did a great job, but it's hard to hard to beat that singing we got from from the, the, the child, the baby. So we're gonna vote to unmask Spidey Friend, unfortunately. Hello friends, hello Sun family. It's time for the big unmasking. I had such a great time as Spidey Friend, but it's now time that I take these gloves off. I get back to uh, work. Um, don't worry. Spidey friend will make a reappearance, but uh, I had so much fun performing for you all. Thank you, Sun High School. Let's go Bulldogs. Let's close the year off. That was <laughs> a great end. Bye, everyone. Let's move on to our next head-to-head -head featuring Jakey Sinaj versus The Phantom. One will stay and one will get unmasked on the show. Let's start off with Tricky Sinaj's clues. Ha! I'm Tricky Sinaj. 
You asked for it, you got it. Three more clues. Clue number one, what goes up must come down. Clue number two, I have a small dog. Clue number three, Singing Monster by Kanye West and Nicki Minaj. It's tricky, Sinaj. Pull up in the monster automobile gangster with a good friend that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in that Tonka color of Willy Wonka. You could be the king, but watch the queen conquer. First things first, I'll eat your brains. Then I'ma start rocking gold teeth and fangs. Cause that's what a m -m 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 monster do. Hairdresser from Milan, that's the monster do. Monster Giuseppe heel, that's the monster shoe. Young money is the roster and a monster crew. And I'm all up, all up, all up in the bank with the funny face. And if I'm fake, I ain't noticed cause my money ain't but let me get this straight wait i'm the rookie but my features in my shows 10 times your pay 50k for a verse no album out you buy money so tall that my bobby's gotta climb it hotter than a middle east climate violent tony matterhorn don't you wind it wind it tricky on the contract when i sign it these other singers so one track minded but really really i don't care about mona lisa cage forget elephant and gingy because they fake i'm on a diet but my dog is eating cheesecake and i'll say fry of Chucky, it's child's play. Just killed another career, it's a mild day. Besides Sam, they can't stand besides me. Owning Mass Singer when it drops Friday. Blue wig, bow tie, give a whiplash. I think they get cash, make them blink fast. Now look at what you just saw. This is what you live for. Ah! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a monster. Check. Ginger, you even got dissed in the song. I did not. You know, I you got to respect the game, though. Like, that was... Yeah. I mean, Tricky Sinat almost found the one thing that uh, Mike Check can't do. I mean, obviously, we can do that, but they are coming up really close. This was a great performance, in my opinion. I, I was, yeah, I mean, like, shocking, but, like, in an amazing way. That was... That was really, really good. Very impressed. Yeah. All right, wow. <laughs> I'm still not standing with it. Edward, how did you feel about that performance? That performance right there, um, it was got to be one, if not the best performance that we had so far because of due to just the element of dissing it this and everybody else because they're on top now and it's like <laughs> yeah i was i was able to beat you i was able to beat you guys i was i was able to you know i was able to get on top and stuff like that because of what i did and everything i like i love the confidence i love everything about it it definitely took a turn i was not expecting but i liked it i liked it Dejanay, how did you feel um, i just think truth me i just like pure entertainment from like the name to the whole or to like their energy. Yeah. I would definitely say like they my favorite. And that was like the best performance I've seen so far. I have to agree. That was a lot of energy. That was truly shocking, but in an amazing way. Do you guys think you can come up with a guess on who this may be? I'm gonna start with Mike Check again. I see them contemplating in the corner over there. I, we have a few guesses, I think. We've been, I've been thinking about this one since their first performance. Um, you know, I, I'll start by saying personally, we embrace the philosophy of everybody love everybody, so you never see a diss track like that from Mike Check. Um, so really, we're thinking about like who 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 are the bullies. 
who would come out and try to hurt us I like mean, this. I think Mr. Wolf is definitely somebody who would post a diss track like that. I, you know, I could also see Mr. Guider coming out strong on this one. Um, I think those two. I think our third one was Mr. Mr. Anderson, maybe. Maybe Mr. Anderson would do that. Yeah. All right. Dejanay, who do you think this could possibly be? Um, I was thinking Mr. Anderson too. So I'll say Mr. Anderson. I feel like I can see him writing like oh rap or something. Edward, who do you think it could be? Mr. Anderson. <laughs> you think it's Mr. Anderson? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we will find out if he's on that. Our next performer remains a mystery to us all. Let's see what the Phantom is up to these days. Edward's this is my eighth year teaching at Sam. And I like Cheetos. Let's hear it for the Phantom. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, taking time with his tonic and gin. He said, Son, can you play me? a memory I'm not really sure how it goes but it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes oh, la 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 di -di da la la di -di da 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 Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. Oh, right. That was a very vocal performance. I liked that a lot. Do you guys agree or disagree? I'm going to start with Dejanay. Um, I like their voice and the aura. Like, I think they're really insecure. And I really, they sang the song really good. All right, Edward, how did you feel about that performance? You know, I've heard heard them before, but I literally, every time I hear their singing voice, it's always good. I feel like I know, know what they're doing when it comes to singing. And it's like, I, I, I always like, like enjoy hearing them because I feel like I know who it is already. Give me musical theater vibes for sure. He has a very theater voice. <clears throat> okay, mic check. What did you guys think about that performance? We love it. I, I mean, it's a good song, a uh, great song. I know it's one of Mr. It's, it's really one of my favorite songs. It's, it's a great song. Um, and this was a great rendition of it. it had us swaying. I, I had to bring out the lighters for that one. So. Great singing voice. Um, yeah. It's going to be a tough choice. Yeah, this is going to be a real tough one. Okay. 
let's move in to so I think who this could possibly be. Edward, so that you had a guess. Who do you think it is? My, the, my old theater teacher, uh, Mr. Uh, Schrader. I can feel that. Dejanay, how about you? Who do you think this could be? I agree. I think it's Mr. Schrader. Mike, check. What's your guess? Uh, we're going to guess that it's our young theater teacher, Mr. Schrader. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's. Ooh, now we have to decide who shall be unmasked. I feel like this is going to be a hard one. All right. I'm going to start off with Dejanay. Between Turkey Sinaj and the Phantom, who do you think should be unmasked? I mean, both did very well, but I was just more entertained by Tricky Minaj. And their performance was, sh was shocking, so I'm going to go with them. <laughs> so, Phantom gets up next, right? Oh my gosh, okay. Edward, who do you think should be on next? I both like the performances, but I just want to see who the Phantom is. Because... Ooh. Hopefully I'm right. Right. Hopefully I'm right with saying that it's Mr. Schrader. But I want to see. I really want to see if I guessed right. So I'm picking the Phantom. And finally, be unmasked. Check. Who do you think should be unmasked? Well, since it's already decided, um, our our vote's gonna gonna go based off of who who best embraced the qualities of everybody love everybody. Um, oh, which, you know, although, although Tricky gave a fantastic performance, um, the, we, we, we are loving Mike Check, and, and so we're still reeling from the offense that was, that was spitted out in those bars. So we are going to vote to unmask Tricky. <laughs> All right. Well. Sadly, Tricky's not getting unmasked. Um, the Phantom will be unmasked. So we will find out who they are. Yes. It's me! Hey everybody, thanks so much. This was a lot of fun. We now have our final four. Tune in next time where the audience will vote for a favorite who will ultimately be crowned the Mass Singer Champion of 2021. That's all the time we have for this week. See you in the final four and toots my goots. <laughs>